Interested in maximizing your ROI in Edmonton and investing? Well, you've come to the right place. We're gonna take a look at Edmonton's rental market where I'm gonna break down some of the rates you can look at and the ROI and the demand. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can get some information on the best investment properties in Edmonton before they hit the market and when they hit the market. If you didn't know this already, the city of Edmonton changed their bylaws in 2024, and this is gonna make it easier for you to convert your properties so that you can maximize the amount of rooms you can have to rent out. What is this gonna to do to the market? Well, it's gonna increase value of certain types of properties. Number one, especially corner lots, 50 by 150. All right, we're gonna dive in again. And again, we're on rentfaster.ca to look at the rental market in the Edmonton area so that when you're purchasing a property, you have a better idea of what you can rent a home or a condo for based on number of bedrooms, location in the city. It's just gonna help you crunch the numbers. When you go to purchase a home, you know what your cash flow is and that'll help you with your long-term investments in real estate. Again, if when you're on Rent Faster, if you click at the top, just on this icon, just like this, it'll take you to the main page. Boom, I already got Edmonton loaded up. We will hit search. It's gonna pull up grid view here. What we wanna do is we want to click on the map view and that will bring up our map. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our filters. And once we click on our filters, then it'll pop up this list. And from the list, we're able to basically decide what we wanna search for. And this will help with what we're purchasing. We can match the two and no. We did condos before, now we're gonna do houses, or better yet, we're gonna do basements. Basement suites are something that a lot of people are looking to build these days, and Edmonton has made it easier to do that with the new bylaw change. So a lot more properties, as long as they meet the requirements, are going to be able to get the permits for being suited. Some of the things to consider are a separate entrance into the property, and then you're gonna need to go through and get all of the permits involved from the city of Edmonton. Make sure you have egress windows, it's up to code firewise. And from here, from the basement, we're just gonna check out what a one bedroom, one or a den basement is going for in the city. As you can see, not too many. If we look at the south side of Edmonton here, go towards maybe summer side, you can see by my big head of the head, we have a listing for $1,200 for one bed, one bath basement. 1400, one bed, one bath. 950, one bed, one bath. 1050, one bed, one bath. 1300, basement, one bed, one bath. 1350, a bed, and bath. 1300. 13, 950, 13. You're anywhere from about 900 to 1350, depending on how nice your basement suite is. Most of the time, if not all the time, these properties listed online are going to be legal suites, and that is something to consider when purchasing a property. Again, legal suites means that it's fully permitted by the city. When the city's checking, they will also check these websites and they'll cross-reference the legal suites with their database of legally suited permits for the properties and make sure that it's good to go. These properties should be legally suited, is what I'm saying. But this just adds value to, you know, if you're owning the property and and you want to supplement what your mortgage payment is and you're okay renting the property out to someone underneath you, then that's what you can potentially get for a suited property. And we'll do one more here. So we'll go back to filters, we'll clear them, go back in, and we will see the house, three bedroom house would go for in Edmonton. In, we'll go to the same areas, move my head out of the way again. In the southwest side of the city, south side, you can see a newer home here, three bedroom, two and a half bath for 1652. If you don't know where I'm looking, kind of right down here, three bed, three bed, two and a half bath, 2200, 2300. If you do add that 2300 and you have a legal suite underneath, again, you're looking at anywhere from 900 to 1300, potentially you can max out about quick math 30 600 or 4200 sorry 1900 4200 you're looking at about 4200 for a full house with a legal suite and three bedrooms and that's going to be for most areas in the south side of the city and Edmonton is becoming a more competitive market for rental rates they have gone up quite a bit in the last year or two. It is something to consider if you're looking at investing in Edmonton real estate. Price points of homes, detached single family homes have slightly started to increase and it's becoming a bit more competitive. Getting out early, making sure you're pre-approved when looking
looking. That's all going to help you when and if you get into bidding wars on these properties. Again, they are the most desired types of properties. You should make sure that you're putting your best foot forward when looking at them. All right, guys, have a great day. Take care. Let me know if you're thinking of investing in Edmonton this year and adding to your portfolio.